In this video, I'll be going over uh, the lesson that um, with our equations and solving exponential and logarithmic equations, but by being able to use now our properties that we have been talking about. Now, here is a property that we can also use, that if we have two logs equal to each other and they have the same base, then we can set those two values um, within the log equal to each other to solve. We also need to make sure that just like our um, radical, that we need to check for extraneous solutions. So like for example here, I noticed we have our two common logs, right? Because they have a base 10. So because our two logs here that are equal to each other have the same base, we can just set these 3x minus 5 is equal to 2x plus 1. Then I can just go through now and solve a multi-step equation. So I can just gather the variables here and x minus 5 is now equal to 1, and x is equal to 6. So now in the second one, again, same thing. We've got two common logs here, base 10, so they have the same base, which means we can set 2x plus 2 equal to x squared plus 5x minus 8. Now notice we are solving a quadratic. So we need this to equal zero. So I'm going to subtract 2x and 2 from both sides. And now that this is equal to zero, we can factor x squared plus 3x, just realize that, minus 10. That was 8, negative 8 minus 2. So now we can factor what two numbers multiply to get negative 10 but add to get positive 3. Well positive 5 and negative 2 which means that x is equal to negative 5 and positive 2. Now I'm going to check for extraneous and I'm going to plug into here my log that's not a um, quadratic because what you have to remember here is you cannot take the log of a negative value, so the answer must be positive. So like here, for example, 2x or 2 times negative 5 plus 2. Well, that's negative 10 plus 2, which is negative 8. I cannot take log of negative 8, so negative 5 is extraneous. However, if I just put in positive 2, I will get a positive solution. So we did have an extraneous here, so x is equal to only 2. So go ahead and pause the video and try these two u-tries on your own. And here we go. So again, you have two logs here, same base, so 6x is equal to 4x plus 5, and now just solving for x. Subtract 4x here from both sides, 2x is equal to 5. Sorry, I don't know what's going on with my pen here is equal to 5, and then divide by 2, and x is equal to 5 over 2. Then b, again, bases are the same, so x squared plus 2 is equal to 4x plus 14. And again, you should have noticed you're solving a quadratic, and quadratics have to equal 0. So subtract 4x and subtract 14. So now that our quadratic is equal to 0, I've got x squared minus 4x minus 12. Now we can solve by factoring. What two numbers multiply to get negative 12 but add to get negative 4? Negative 6 and positive 2, which means x is equal to 6 and negative 2. But now let's check for extraneous, and I'm going to check again on the side where there's no quadratic because this has to be positive. It cannot be negative. So let's check 6. Well, if this is positive, then it's all going to be positive. So 6 will give me a positive solution here. But let's check negative 2. 4 times negative 2 plus 14. Well, negative 8 plus 14 is positive 6. So they do both work out. So they are both a solution, no extraneous. So now another way of solving or another type is um, here, just like before when we were getting inverses, 
um, you need to make sure that the log is by itself. Notice how here the log is being multiplied by 2. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. Now I've got log base 3 of 6x is now equal to 1. Now here I've just got a good old log, not two logs on the two sides. So in order to now solve this, we are going to convert it to an exponential. So my base is 3, 3 to the first power, which is equal to 6x. Now 3 to the first is just 3. 3 is equal to 6x. Now we just solve for x here and divide both sides by 6. And you get x is equal to 1 half. Then here, I'm now going to use the property, where if I had my exponent, I could bring it down to condense. So here, I've got 4 times log base 5 of x, which is equal to 8. Now here, again, you're multiplying x by 4, or the log by 4, so now I'm going to divide by 4. Log base 5 of x is equal to 2. Then here, now we convert. So base 5, so 5 to the second power is equal to x. So that means here, x is equal to 25. So go ahead and pause the video and try these two u-tries on your own. And here we go. So again, I notice that 3 is being multiplied, so I'm going to divide both sides by 3. I've got log base 6 of 2x minus 1 is equal now to 2. So now notice the log is by itself. We need to solve it, so we're going to convert it. Base 6, 6 to the second power is equal to 2x minus 1. Now, 6 squared is 36 is equal to 2x minus 1. And now we're just solving a two-step. Add 1 to both sides. You've got 2x is equal to 37. Sorry, my pen is going weird again. There we go. 37. And divide by 2. So x is equal to 37 over 2. Then here, I could use the property, my power property, bringing it down. To condense, so 2 times log base 2 of x is equal to 8. Now get the log by itself. If it's being multiplied by 2, divide by 2. So log base 2 of x is now equal to 4. Now I can convert with my base 2. 2 to the fourth power is equal to x. Well, what is 2 to the fourth power? 16. So 16 is equal to x. Now, here we are going to apply even more properties. Notice how we have subtraction. So if you recall, when condensing, subtraction was the same as division. So we're going to condense this to see how the bases are the same, so I can condense. This is law base 4 of x plus 1 divided by 100 is equal to log base 4 of 1. Now notice the logs equal to each other have the same base. So this is x plus 1 divided by 100 is equal to 1. And now we're solving for x, but it's being divided by 100, so multiply both sides by 100. And I've got x plus 1 is equal to 100. Subtract 1, and x is equal to 99. Now here, notice how we're adding. And remember, addition meant multiplication. The bases were the same, so we can condense. So we have the two common logs. So log, then x times 4. Oops, sorry, there goes my pen again. x times 4, or 4x here, which is equal to 0. Now we don't have the two logs, but we can convert this to an exponential. Remember our common log, this is not a base 4, right, but base 10. So this is 10 to the 0 power, which is equal to 4x. Well, 10 to the 0 power, any value to the 0 power is 
1, which is equal to 4x. Now we can solve for x and divide both sides by 4. And x is equal to 1 fourth. So go ahead and pause the video and try these two u-tries here on your own. And here we go. So again, I have subtraction. Bases are the same, so we can condense. Log base 4 of 2x divided by 5 is equal to 4. Now, we don't have two logs here, but we can convert to an exponential. So a base of 4 raised to the 4th power is equal to 2x divided by 5. Now, 4 to the 4th power is going to give us 256, which is equal to 2x over 5. Now we can solve for x. Right now, though, it's being divided by 5, so I can multiply both sides by 5 here. So I'm going to get rid of that fraction and multiply by 5. So here, when you multiply by 5, you end up with 1,280, which is equal to 2x. So now here, divide both sides by 2. And x is equal to 640. Now here, we are adding, so this is, bases are the same, so this is multiplication, right? We're multiplying. Ah, sorry guys, my pen is still kind of... And so with condensing, because the bases are the same, log base 2 of x times x plus 2, which is equal to log base 2 of x plus 6. Now, notice, though, when multiplying here, we are distributing an x. So this is the same as log base 2 of x squared plus 2x, which is equal to our log base 2 of x plus 6. Now, notice we do have the two logs, and they have the same base equal to each other. So this is the same as um, solving here, sorry about that, x squared plus 2x, which is equal to x plus 6. And so now notice we are solving a quadratic, and quadratics have to equal 0. So I'm going to subtract x and subtract 6. And so now the quadratic we need to factor here is x squared. Combine like terms, 2x minus x is 1x, or just x minus 6. Now we can factor. So what two numbers multiply to get negative 6 but add to get 1? Positive 3 and negative 2. Or x is equal to negative 3 and positive 2. But again, remember, we cannot have a negative log. So like here, for example, because x here is by itself with between all of these logs here, like for example, negative 3. Well, negative 3 plus 6, well, that is 3, so I'm good. However, negative 3 plus 2, negative 1. And this is negative 3 here. So negative 3 is extraneous, but 2 is a solution.